What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if it's your first time. You are now watching your boy Built by Ray. If you haven't, please consider like, comment, and subscribing. Don't forget to click the bell notification so you can be updated when we drop new videos. Leave us a comment down below, good or bad, it's always welcome. If you haven't, please hit the link down below. Check out our website at www.builtbyray.com. We got merch on there. Anything copped on there will go towards helping the channel grow. Today, we're doing a little bit something different. We heading out to check out some land. I know you guys have been following the channel and staying tuned. We've been all over the place, but once we get things situated and get a nice, good work spot, we will be able to get right into it and finish up all those projects that you have seen us start. What's up, YouTube? We back with another one, man. Today, we're up to something totally different on the channel. Okay, guys, we here checking out these containers. These was used for vegetable oil, but we're going to clean them up and put water in them. They're 275 gallon containers. So we got these things loaded up. Got several of them. We're going to take them to the land. All right, so we're up here at Lowe's about to grab our first couple bags of concrete. We got some signs for private property to mark those out. We got some stakes to hammer in the ground. Put those things up on there. We're about to get it going down. Yes, sir. Just made it back to the house. These were some tools I managed to gather up. Then we went on offer up and found this cement mixer for a hundred bucks. Was able to negotiate with them and wind up picking up the cement mixer for eighty dollars. As you can see here, we're getting it loaded in the van, and then we're gonna head back to the house to check it out to see if it works. All right, guys, as you can see right here, this thing is spinning, so it does work. We're gonna get it cleaned up. First, we're gonna load it up. Loaded up in the back, we got the welder generator, concrete mixer, bags of cement. We got wood over there. The homie is up in front of us with his truck with some uh, boards in the back. We're heading out, man. We just purchased some land. So we're about to go ahead and start getting things going with that. Uh, definitely gonna be building us a nice workshop. So that way you guys can really get to see what the build by Ray name is all about man so we about to be there shortly it's about 20 minutes away so we about to be there shortly then we're gonna get out and do the same thing mark all four corners from the gps coordinates and then go from there all right guys we just made it here got these signs prepped up so we're gonna go hammer these in at all four corners of the property we got the uh, gps coordinates so we're going to go ahead and go uh mark those out and post these signs up it's getting late, so. this is the land over here just a little bit over two acres two acres and this is the uh road going through here i believe this is part of the land so might be able to block this off and say private road. Gotta do some more research on that, but all this over here headed back in that direction. So get to it. Okay, first things first, we're gonna start putting our first private property sign in the ground. We start hammering that thing in there, but as you can see that bush was in the way, so I went and checked the tools that we brought with us and I grabbed the ax. So we're gonna start whacking at this thing and getting it chopped down to get some of that stuff out of the way. As you can see here, I'm whacking away at it. Those roots in the ground, pretty uh strong, but we got it knocked down. The homie got a swing at it. He's chopping and chopping and chopping. Now you can see the sign pretty good. Now we're gonna head off to the next Now. 
Okay, guys, as you can see, I put one in the ground and hammered it down and painted it blue. We're gonna leave that there so we can know the all four corners uh, where we marked that. Then I put the private property sign there so it's staying a little bit taller so I can see it from afar. Eventually, when I get money, I will have someone come out and survey the land, but from the GPS coordinates, uh, this is dead on right there. But I will have that survey still just to have uh, the legal stakes and everything put that down in the ground so we'll know for sure. to find the next location we got the uh, GPS on the phone I don't know if you guys can see that but the last time I was here still Okay guys, you can see that uh, center block was right there, but you see I'm off a little bit ways from it. At first we had the uh, directions on driving the last time when I first came to check out the land, but today we got it on walking, so it actually gave us a more accurate location than the first time, so that's why we picked it up and moved it over there. Guys, so we just got through putting up all our no trespassing signs for the private uh, private property sign. We're walking back up the road. The road is part of the property, like I said. But we're back right here, man. About to get things loaded up. Head out. Until next time. Hillside Reach, check